So let us now begin with the brainstorming of Standard 11th Poem 2.5 Notes versus Eyes by William Cowper. So the first activity, even question is, state whether the following statements are true or false. Correct the false statements. So the first statement here is, nose can use the spectacles. The answer to this is the false. Though the verdict was given to the nose, but the nose cannot use them as the verdict was passed for the eyes. Eyes have to be shut when the nose wears, puts on the spectacles. Yes, this is true. The ears was appointed as a judge. That is also true. Eyes cannot use the spectacles. This is actually false because the verdict was given. The final judgment was passed between the nose and the eyes. So the verdict and final judgment was made that the eyes could use the spectacles but only by being shut in both the uh, day and night. So the next is discuss with your partner and match the following expressions given in the column A with their interpretations in column B. So some sentences are given in column A and interpretations are given in column B. Let's match them. While Chief Baron Ear sat to balance the laws, the answer to this is the responsibility of giving verdict rested on the shoulders of the hearing organ. They are made with the straddle as wide as the ridge of the nose is. Spectacles are meant for none other than the nose. That whenever the nose put his spectacles on by daylight or candlelight, eyes should be shut. Eyes are refrained from using the spectacles. So his lordship decreed with a grave solemn tone, decisive and clear, without one if or but, the judge delivered a firm verdict without any doubt. So A2, the first one, the tongue justifies the position of the spectacles on behalf of the nose. Pick up the expressions from the poem that argue in favor of the nose and complete the following web diagram. So arguments in favor of the nose were, first, the nose had had the spectacles always wear, which amounts to the position. Then, had the visage, face or countenance had not a nose, who would wear the spectacles? And the third one, they are made with a straddle as wide as the noses. So all these three are the arguments in favor of the nose. Second one, comment on the following characters depicted in the poem in a sentence or a phrase. So on the nose, the nose here is a person who wants possession of an object which, which is of no use to him. And on the eye, so the eye is actually a person who is hardworking, gentle and silent and has no lies to justify his position. So the next one, third, lend thy ears to all but few thy tongue is a famous quote by William Shakespeare. Let's justify, let's elaborate it. The famous quote by William Shakespeare suggests that during any argument or discussion, a person must listen carefully. But when we are apt to give opinions, we must speak little. These are wise words from Shakespeare. As people are least interested in taking advice from others and more of giving them, we have seen this clearly. Most of us do these things that we uh, will only ask a few people to give advice. We give our advice to everybody. We guide everybody to do the things in this manner or that particular manner. When it comes on us, we unintentionally don't uh, tend to listen to other people. We just uh, don't want to listen to their advice. One may unintentionally intentionally turn friends into fools over silly issues. So it may happen that two friends may get into a rough fight or a brawl like situation if they are not, uh, what do you say, one particular person out of both of them is not ready to take his advice. So over silly issues people can turn against you or you may turn, uh, people can, uh, what do you say, change their minds against you. So it is best to speak only when asked or requested. So a person should only speak when he is someone requests you or somebody wants to know your opinion. The next one here is A3 pick out examples of inversion from the poem. Uh, the visage or countenance had not a nose dot dot dot. This would normally dot did not have a nose and in behalf of the nose it will quickly appear and your lordship. This is also an example of inversion. So A4 is justify the word it delivered in the poem. I can support my answer with the help of the following arguments. So these arguments we can support our answer. First argument is that the spectacles are helping aid to the eyes not the nose. So how can 
one close his eyes and use them so if the eyes is going to close and the nose is going to have it what is the use of that even if the nose gets its position what will be it use of without the eyes so the question remains the same if the nose gets the verdict of using the particular uh, what is say spectacles what is the use of it if the eyes is not going to use it the person who's going to wear it it's going to be no use for him the second one compose two lines of your own on any sensory organ so for nose it may be pointed long or short but the only organ in the body who can sense what is fishy so this is actually free words i haven't used any rhyming scheme or rhymes here so the next is third one imagine that you are a lawyer defending the case of the eyes in court present your counter statement in support of your client so you, uh, the chance has come to you now you have to defend for the eyes what would you say you would say that on behalf of the eyes i would like to present the usage of the spectacles that the spectacles is used for enhancing the clarity of eyes so it's a helping aid for the eyes and not for the nose so thus it helps the person to see properly thus it is clearly no use to the nose okay it's currently no use to the nose as work it works the nose works to smell and not to see thus i feel the spectacles belong to the eyes my lordship so here in this particular manner we could tell the uh, what do you say the judge that clearly what is the usage of the spectacles it is for the clarity of the eyes it helps the person to see properly and not to smell properly thus it clearly belongs to the eyes so now let us see the next question which is the critical appreciation of the poem so the critical appreciation of the poem will be done according to the points such as about the poem poet and title theme poetic style Uh, the language the poetic devices special features messages values moral message and finally your opinion so let's start so about the poem the poem is a gentle humor the poem tries to mock the behavior of the jurisprudence that is the working of the law then the poet in the title the poet william cowper is a famous poet and his famous work is especially his satirical work a method to convey serious issues with a comical method the title nose versus eyes actually tries to tell us about human behavior which it also suggests that if anything cannot be proved true in the court then it is false it also mocks the way people who know the truth are made to remain silent even if the decision may seem senseless or absurd so the theme and the poetic style the theme uh, see the poem is in the stanzas of four lines each the first and the third and the second and the fourth lines rhyme with each other so the sensory organs are personified the eyes and the nose are the parties fighting the cakes claiming ownership of the spectacles then uh, the tongue is the lawyer the ear is the chief baron the judge the tongue is attributed with the qualities of skillful argument and learning the tongue is also given the quality of shifting loyalties and it is double speaking thus yes it is true uh, then that is the law what is the lawyers do the ear is spoken of as having good judgment so so many things are given in this poem the poem has many words and phrases related to the legal field such as your lordship uh, now the tongue addresses the ear then pleaded arguments are the few words used in the court so totally the poem is uh, what is a part uh, as if it it has taken place in the setting of the court then the next we have the poetic devices i have tried to keep it short because this is way also you could write the answers of the poem the poetic devices the poet has used some notable poetic devices which uh, tone the poem well which express him they are personification metaphor and inversion the next the special feature the poem is unique in that it is a gentle mockery of the judicial system so the poet has tried to actually make fun of the judicial system the criticism of the judiciary is dangerous and could even land one in trouble so we should not do this on the some uh, types of poets who want to convey a special message only those people can do that criticism of judiciary is always dangerous it could yes it is uh, what do you say it can be a content of court and you could be in serious trouble okay but the poet has been gently mocked 
which did not offend anyone so he is gently uh, mocking the working of the code which is true and thus this is how the things are presented so the message or the values or morals in the poem the message the poem sends out is that the judges verdict should also keep in mind the human values and not arrived at decisions based purely on law books so whatever message the judges are passing it should also have uh, what do you say uh, emotional background to it there should be emotions to it and not only proofs because many a times it can happen that something which is not true or which is already false can be proved true in the court so people should also means the judge the court or the law system should also think about this whether the thing is really true or whether the thing is being proved true your opinion about the poem see the poem reminds me how greed in people try to grab what is not there so this is what is happening around the world right now that the greedy people want to have everything around them it shows how the weak are unable to defend themselves yes though they are right so this is also happening in the world around you it may happen very uh, what to say to close person uh, of you or even you that you are uh, what to say true but somehow you are unable to defend yourself they are often proved wrong the nose trying to grab the spectacles when the weak eyes need them is the perfect example in the poem nose versus eyes